Heidi ho barbecue neighbors, it's Pete with Backdraft Barbecue. Today we're gonna to show you how to do something super easy, but it's overlooked by many people. And I'll tell you, this will knock the socks off of your next feast that you have. Have you ever thought about taking one of those pre-cooked spiral hams or bone-in hams and just sending it into outer space? Uh, yeah. Me too. With a big green egg, set up for indirect cooking, we can actually take this ham to the next level. Sure, you can cook it in your oven, and it will still taste good. But in an egg, it's gonna taste exceptional. And here's the secret. You don't have to tell people that you didn't make it from scratch. Uh -huh. Not that I would ever advocate for that, but it's gonna taste way better than a regular ham. So, first things first, get your egg set up. We wanna set it up for indirect cooking. And we're gonna aim for a target temperature of roughly 300 degrees. See, we wanna get some smoke into this, but the hams are already cooked. So you don't want to dry it out excessively by staying at 200. Most of the fat on these has already been rendered. So I'm going to set the top here to a crescent moon and I'm going to set the bottom as well, just to about a half inch. Okay, next thing's next. We've got our ham here. So you want to make sure you take note of how big the ham is. This is nine and a half pounds. And again, you're aiming for, uh, well, you really don't need a target temperature because it's already cooked, but you know, we'd like at least 130 inside because it's gonna taste gross if it's cold. This is nine and a half pounds and you can really aim for about 15 minutes per pound on the reheat, okay? So let's open this up. Now I'm a huge fan of these Lodge cast iron pans that have no long handle because they fit in the egg really, really well. So I'm gonna use this to help me make my pan gravy. But first, I'm gonna use this to catch the stuff that falls off because it's also part of the pan gravy. We wanna put the convector in legs up so that we can put the pan on top of it to catch all the drippings. So I already took the liberty of lighting this and I'm gonna take some of my apple chunks and stick them in. And then I'm gonna put this in legs up and that's gonna get stabilizing, help stabilize the temperature when I get the, the ham in. Our next step we're gonna do is we're gonna use regular table mustard. Wait, what? I know, this is kind of a secret weapon. A lot of people don't know about it. You won't taste mustard after the ham is cooked, but what it will do is lock in the juices and also help with the smoke flavor. Now that we got that, we're gonna add some brown sugar to this ham. We're adding a little extra sweetness to it, and about halfway through our cook, we're actually gonna put pineapples and cloves on it. I'm just using regular brown sugar, and we're gonna just crumble it and rub it on. Remember, I'm, I'm putting this in a pan because we're gonna actually use what's actually coming off of my application here as part of the base for the pan gravy. This ham should take about two hours to fully cook. And if you know from most barbecuing methods, that's about how much time you need to get a good smoke into something as well. In fact, after a certain amount of time, smoke doesn't actually absorb in anymore. I have my PhD piled high and deeper. Okay, so what I've got here is my Lodge cast iron with no handles. I've got some liquid in here. I've just put some water in here. You could use apple juice as well. To me, it adds too much sweetness, but we've got some brown sugar and uh, mustard remnants in this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right on the convector, right in the center, okay? And then we're gonna add our ham. And that's gonna go right over that pan. I'm gonna add this to the other portion. Okay, go back. Now that we got the ham on there centered over that, we're gonna close this. Again, we're gonna leave this just barely open so that we can get a good amount of smoke into that beautiful looking ham. And I'll see you in about 90 minutes. That's when we're gonna garnish this with our pineapples and some cloves. We don't wanna put them on right now because if we do, you'd have like dehydrated meat when we're done. So we're gonna put those on in just a little bit. Like a glove. Is that my second Ace Ventura reference in the same video? Yes. Things are going downhill fast. All right, so 
it's been rocking right around 250, 300, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it. It's been 90 minutes now. We could be very close to having this done, but I want to pineapple this ham so that we can eat it, but I didn't want the pineapples to dry out, so that's why we're waiting 90 minutes. So let's take a look. Oh, come to me. Mm. Smells delicious. Got a little bubbly action in my pan. I'm really happy about the way this is looking. So let's put the pineapples on here and we'll let it sit for like another 30 minutes and then we're gonna pull it and it should be done. What I like to do is take the pineapple juice and put it right in that pan again. Oh yeah, it's gonna be amazing gravy. Ah, we're gonna close the lid. We're gonna let it cook another 30 minutes or so. One thing that you can do if you wish to is you can take some brown sugar and just sprinkle it off top. It's cold out here, so this brown sugar is kinda frozen. extra sugar never hurt nobody unless you have diabetes diabetes then it did hurt you all right see you in 30 minutes okay it's been cooking we're at the two hour mark let's take a look at how this looks and we're gonna check it out and try it oh if you could smell this on the smell of vision you would be like let's take it off here and we'll chop a piece up we are going to work on the pan gravy inside which is basically pretty easy, but. And just to see how this is, we're gonna carve off a little niblet. Yep. Oh, I like it. It's really good. You know, the other thing I like about this is it just tastes better than a standard store-bought ham that's salty. It's actually got a nice flavor to it, so. Anyways, we're gonna, what, are you, what in the, <laughs> get out of here. You start feeding animals, they come back every time. Oh my word. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a comment, like, subscribe, it really helps me out. But in the meantime, have fun enjoying a traditional ham dinner with a little twist. Be safe.